We go now to our reporter, Laura Windsor, who has more on children and irregular heartbeats. Your child's heart rate normally will vary to some degree with fevers, crying, exercise, or other vigorous activities which make any heartbeat faster. But what is an irregular heartbeat? We spoke to Dr. Anjan Batra at Children's Hospital of Orange County who gives us more on children and irregular heartbeats. An irregular heartbeat in a child can be fairly common. So the most common irregular heartbeat rhythm is extra beats that come prematurely or early. These, fortunately, most of the kids who have them really don't even feel them. But the ones that, once they start feeling these heartbeats, especially if they start feeling a racing heart rate, where the heart starts racing, that would, pro the most common probably would be the rhythm, what we call supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT. Most of the time is a benign arrhythmia. When I say benign, it is not a potentially dangerous arrhythmia. First of all, it can present at any age. There may be other associated symptoms. They may have some chest pain. They may have difficulty breathing. They may feel lightheaded or dizzy. Very rarely, they may pass out from this. But in general, typically, they would just be feeling the fast racing heart rate. What are the options for treating SVT? Historically, there have been three options. Option one is to say, Every time I have it, I'm going to try and control it with what we call vagal maneuvers. What that entails is either trying to cough or bearing down for 5 to 10 seconds as if you're about to have a bowel movement and then taking a breath. Or if you're older, massaging your neck, what we call a carotid massage, or taking ice cold water and splashing it on your face. Another option would be to consider medications. And what the medications do is they reduce the risk of having these episodes, but don't really eliminate the substrate for having these episodes. And finally, there is a relatively very simple procedure, what we call an EP or electrophysiologic study and ablation procedure. What it entails is the child comes into the hospital on the morning of the procedure. He or she will be put to sleep with an anesthesiologist so they're completely comfortable. Once they're asleep, we put small IVs or plastic sheets in their veins, in their groin areas. And through that, we can thread these very small, fine, spaghetti-like soft catheters that go through the vein and study the electricity within the heart. We can find the areas where normal electricity flows and where there is the potential for these extra cells that should not be there, where there should not be electricity flowing. And what we can do is with very good accuracy, we can deliver pinpoint lesions and get rid of those extra cells and get rid of the substrate that is causing this fast heartbeat. The catheters come out. The child wakes up, eats, drinks, and goes home the same day. How successful is the procedure? Very successful procedure. As of today, our success rates are in the range of 95% for all comers. The way this, the heart is developing, there is a potential to grow out of this in the first year of life. However, if they have not grown out of it, by the time they are one year of age, the chances of growing out of this become very minuscule. And at that point, the ablation procedure becomes the mainstay of therapy. If you feel your child is having a problem with an irregular heartbeat, make sure you have them see their pediatrician for the proper diagnosis and treatment. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.